good morning. Another chance to be together here uh, for a midweek devotion. It's the middle of the first week in May, and so good to be with you. I'm Greg Johnson, pastor at Beaver Valley Lutheran. I want to lift up a magazine. It's our ELCA Church's magazine called Living Lutheran. It comes monthly. It is a wonderful piece just to have in hand and grab once in a while short articles like this one I want to lift up today entitled Tap Into Your Vocation, written by Aaron Strabis. Think about your life now. Think about your life, what you do, uh, in a daily kind of way. Do you consider it ministry? Uh, she writes, In Martin Luther's day, the general public believed that those called to ministry were more noble than the common person. The word vocatio was reserved for spiritual occupations, such as being a priest or a nun, said Timothy Wingert, professor emeritus of Reformation history at United Lutheran Seminary. What's revolutionary about Luther's theology is that he believed God calls everyone to serve. Vocation gives our lives purpose from childhood through older adulthood. He understands that we're called through our baptism. He also insists that we're called into this world to serve our neighbor, he said. Luther understood the callings of God to include absolutely everything we do in life, writes Wingert. Vocation includes both our daily rhythms or livelihoods and our responsibilities as they relate to others. Luther was especially interested in familial relationships, the very act of changing a diaper uh, he declared, is living out one's parental vocation. Any kind of honorable work, any daily activity becomes an expression of vocation or ministry. For a child, that might be doing schoolwork. For a homemaker, it's keeping a home. For an artisan, it's using your gifts or talents to create good products for the benefit of customers. She continues to write, even work the society deems lowly is honorable in God's eyes insofar as it contributes to the well-being of our neighbors. Luther's teachings on vocation bring dignity to our daily living. And finally, this quote from Luther's small catechism. For Luther, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ to which we are joined in our baptisms frees us from having to impress God with who we are or what we do. By faith in God's promise in Christ, we are free to serve our neighbor, not by escaping from this work to live among religious people, but by living our everyday lives. Well, here we are. It's our blood drive day here, May 5th, actually the day in which I'm recording this video clip. Uh, we have confirmation kids working hard at home, uh, getting ready to remind people with little posters on the lawn that we can be Easter to others in the middle of our weeks, in the middle of being a student, trying to be a student long distance. I pray for teachers, I pray for parents, and I pray for kids with this distance learning. It's a challenge, it's a challenge, but I think we're doing it, aren't we? So we as a congregation as well, saying we can be Easter to others. Our ministry continues, out goes our offerings to the broader church. Uh, we continue to deliver tubs of food to the Brandon Food Pantry, so locally, but out from here too. The farmer, the teacher, the mom, the dad, the student, to see ourselves as common and yet equal to anyone, pastor, priest, nun, doesn't matter. We're all called through our baptisms to live lives of faith. Good thought, I hope, on this first week in May.